For the dog collar, I still used my 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need your darning needle or tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. For the collar, I used Pretty in Pink. This is a Red Heart yarn. Red Heart Super Saver. Here's some information about the amount of yarn included. Worsted 4, medium yarn. And again, it's pretty in pink. For the alternate color for my dog collar, I used Baby Pink. It's also by Red Heart. Super Saver. Here's some information about how much yarn is included in a skein. So here I like to purchase my name tags to put onto my dogs, but I'm going to show you how to make a heart in case you don't like to pay for the name the tags. The first thing you're going to do is just take your yarn and fold it over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, I'm still using my 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, put it right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb, then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Go ahead and cinch down that knot, and then you're going to make your chain, I'm just going to show you four of them. We're going to make a chain of 66, so that's your first chain. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the second loop for your second chain, third, and fourth. Again, you're going to finish a chain of 66. After you finish your chain of 66, you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So go into the second chain from the hook. And then you're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops for a single crochet. Then you're going to go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both for a single crochet. And then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch across. When you reach the end, come back and I'll show you what to do next. This is how your work should look so far. Then, when you've finished your last single crochet into the last stitch, you're going to chain one. Then go ahead and turn your work, and you're not going to go into this base stitch below your chain one, you're going to go into the next stitch over. So just take your crochet hook, go into the second, actually the next stitch, bring up a loop, and make your single crochet. And then this will be our last row of just regular single crochet. And when you come back, I'll show you how to make, how to change colors, change to a different color of yarn, and then we're going to make the single crochet spike stitch for the last row. This is how your crochet look, work should look so far. Then. We're going to take and change colors, so I just finished my last single crochet into the last stitch. Then you're just going to take your new color that you want for your dog collar and bring up a loop with the new color. Then you're just going to make a chain one. Then you can take and cut your previous color yarn. Make sure you leave enough of a loose yarn in for burying into your work. Then go ahead and tie a knot. Then you can turn your work 
And we're going to bury our loose yarn ends as we crochet across. So that first chain one you made counts as your first stitch for the next row. For the next stitch, we're going to make a spike stitch. So you're going to take your crochet hook and normally, I'm just going to show you with a tapestry needle, normally you would go into the next stitch of the row, which would be here where I'm placing my tapestry needle. But for the spike stitch, you want to go one stitch below that. So you're going to go down into the stitch below and bring up a loop down here. So one stitch down. So just take your crochet hook. You're going to go into the stitch below where I showed you. You bring up a loop. Go behind your loose yarn ends. Bring up a loop. And then bring that loop up level with your chain one for the row. Then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops to complete the spike stitch. Then in the next stitch, you're going to go right into the next stitch with your crochet hook, and then go behind your loose yarn ends, bring up a loop, make your single crochet, Then you're just going to keep repeating this pattern all the way across. So we're going to do a single crochet spike stitch into the next stitch. So you take your crochet hook, go down into the previous rows, single crochet, bring up a loop, bring the loop level with the loop that's already on the crochet hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops for your spike stitch. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. Spike stitch. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my loose yarn ends. So you can see the beautiful design that you're creating with your single crochet stitch and then your single crochet spike stitch. And then you just keep repeating that pattern all the way across. and then come back. So this is what my work looks like for right now. You can see the beautiful spike design it's creating. Then, after you finish your last stitch, I'm going to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the collar together. And to put your name tag, if you want to place a name tag, to make the heart, you're going to choose whatever color yarn that you want for the heart. I'm using my Pretty in Pink yarn. You're going to drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize. We're going to make a magic circle. And then drape the yarn across your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. So this is what it looks like with me holding it. Then just take your crochet hook. I'm still using my 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Go under those two loops. Bring up a loop. Yarn over. Turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then we're going to make our first chain four. For the, that will count as our first treble crochet in the magic circle. To do that, you're just going to go under the two loops around your middle fingers. You're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops for a single crochet. That's going to count as your first stitch in the treble 
crochet, your first treble crochet. Then you're going to make a chain of three. One, two, three. So with your first single crochet and then your chain of three, you actually have four stitches. That counts as your first treble crochet. We're going to be making a total of five, counting this first chain that we made. So this counts as your first treble crochet. We're going to make four more. Go ahead and yarn over twice. Go into the magic circle. Bring up a loop. Now you should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through two of the loops. Then you have three loops remaining on your crochet hook. Go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through two more loops. And then you have two loops left on your crochet hook. Go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through the remaining two loops to complete your treble crochet. So now we just need three more to have a total of five. I'm going to go ahead and make these with you. So I just finished a total of five treble crochet. Now we're going to make four double crochet. So you're going to yarn over only once. You're going to go into the magic circle, bring up a loop. So you only have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two of the loops. You have two loops remaining. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two loops to complete your double crochet. Now we need three more double crochet. Go ahead and yarn over, go into the magic circle, make your double crochet. This is my third double crochet and my fourth double crochet. Now you're going to make a chain of two. One, two. Then you're going to make four double crochet. There's one. Two. three, four. And what I like about the magic circle is you can take and move your stitches over if you need to. Now we're going to complete five treble crochet. So I'll make two of them with you and then I'll let you finish the rest. So here's one, two, so go ahead, finish making your total of five treble crochet and then come back. Then for our last stitch we're going to make a double crochet. Then just take your forefinger and your thumb and you're going to grab the base of all of the stitches. So you can see how I'm holding my hook and I grabbed the base of the, all of the stitches. Then I have the two loops on the opposite side of the stitches. You're going to pull on one of them 
If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing. So just gently close it as much as you can. Don't worry if you don't get it completely closed. Just close it as much as you're able to. Then you're going to take that loose yarn end and pull on that. See, I might have it a little bit tangled there. There we go. Then you're just going to take, you see how you're forming a heart. Then you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to go into the base of that first stitch that you made. So you just take your crochet hook, go into that bottom stitch, You can see how I went into the bottom of that stitch. I'm going to make a slip stitch. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook to complete a slip stitch. Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to secure the heart onto your collar. So now we're going to finish closing the center. Just turn your work over and pull on that loose yarn end. And then that closes up the center of your magic circle. Then you're going to take the yarn that you finished off with and put the end onto your tapestry needle. Then you're just going to take that loose yarn end and bring it right through the center of the magic circle. and then just give it a gentle tug just to bring the heart shape bring it more into a heart shape I should say then on the back you can take and tie a knot with the loose yarn end that you had at the center of the magic circle Then you have your homemade, a beautiful homemade heart for your collar. And since I made a heart, I'll go ahead and add it behind my purchased heart collar for the dog tag. To bury your loose yarn ends, you just take the ends, put them onto your tapestry needle, and then you just kind of weave it through the back of your heart. and then just trim the loose yarn end. This is what mine looks like after attaching the heart to the back. And now I'm going to attach it to the collar. You're going to want to take your collar and place it around the dog, the dog's neck, before securing the collar. And the first thing I'm doing is just taking the bottom yarn in. Make sure that your collar doesn't twist. And then just secure the bottom ends of the collar together with your tapestry needle. And then what I did was I just tied a knot at the bottom of the collar. Bring it into view. So I'm just going to tie a knot at the bottom. And again, make sure that your collar is not twisted. Then you can do the same thing with the top portion of the then collar. Then I just took my name tag and put it to it with the bottom portion of the yarn of the collar and then I'm going to tie that tie a knot to keep that secure and I'm going to go through twice then on the wrong side of the collar, I'm just going to take my tapestry needle, weave it through the wrong side of the collar, bury the loose yarn end. Then you can just trim that loose yarn end. 
and your collar is secure on the dog and you also have a name tag Thank you.